Welcome to another episode of Apex Legends Deep Dive, and today's legend is Newcastle. The wicked don't rest, so I can't either. <laughs> On today's episode, we will be looking at all the perks and details for Newcastle and how to use them while in match and how each one can benefit you as well. Before we begin, I would just like to say if you're here watching this video, I really appreciate you stopping by and taking the time here today to check it out. If you would like, hit that subscribe button and keep up to date with all my content and leave a like on the video if you're enjoying this series of Apex Legends Deep Dive. Enjoy. All right, so Newcastle also falls in the support class range. He basically is another tank, I think, in my opinion. All support class legends, as we mentioned before, can hope open hidden compartments and craft banners for their teammates, which is obviously what we've mentioned before in my previous videos, that that's what the support class range can do. Wanted to give that as a quick reminder. Okay, so Newcastle was introduced in season 14, and based on the lore, he is Bangalore's brother. When he was introduced, he was a little bit strong, but I don't remember him being broken. Uh, um, I do know that the issue with him was that he had a lot of HP for all, like for example, his tactical, you know, which is similar to Lifeline's old shield. I think the shield had a lot of HP, which made him pretty strong because you can constantly be throwing the shield and be able to fight and use the shield, right? As cover. I think another reason as well, I think the HP for the um, shield when he's resing was also pretty, pretty high as well. And that gave, that gave like everyone, everyone would knock someone, someone would knock knock someone he will res and it just automatically meant like you, you might lose the fight because just because they res them right he was basically a tank when he launched so if you <laughs> what is it what do they call it a hit sponge he was a hit sponge tank um but you know but of course later on he was nerfed a little bit since it was very frustrating to fight him with a full squad i believe they ended up reducing the hp or the shield and his ultimate you know his wall they they nerfed the hp for it a little bit so i guess they kind of gave him too much of a tank power right <laughs> they kind of gave him a hit sponge a little bit too much so you know he's currently at the bottom of the pick rate list for any mode right now ranked or anything um just a lot of people aren't really playing him you know i think the only reason is because his abilities are not as viable but more of a distraction in my opinion you know i think the nerfs really hurt him you know in his tank role in the games but maybe with this new set of perks it could help him out be a little bit more viable on a team it would just depend on that all right let's do an introduction of newcastle's abilities newcastle's passive is called retrieve the wounded this passive allows you to drag down the allies as you revive and put them with your revive shield so this is great as he's the only one who can actually protect you while being revived and as well as move around as well so the goal with this passive is to always have a high tier knockdown shield in order to have more chances and protection when you're reviving so depending on the knockdown shield that you have it will depend on how long you can last as they shoot you with the shield while you're resing um i do believe that the max hp with purple and gold is around 500 hp i believe i think it used to match whatever the shield had like for example i think the gold has 750 and i think that's how much it would have for the shield every time you had it so it was a little bit overpowered annoying to fight against each time you had a gold shield so very annoying but they obviously nerfed it to just have no matter what 500 hp only this tactical is called mobile shield this allows you to throw a drone that projects a movable energy shield the cooldown for this is 15 seconds this allows you to use a shield that you can redirect as you move so it's great for cover when you're fighting for sure you could throw it down keep yourself covered healed a little bit keep an eye on the enemy etc etc right you could also use it for crossover firing lanes as well if possible so as you're running across you could just keep throwing your shield and make sure it moves with you it currently lasts about 20 seconds once you throw it or if it's destroyed now it does have a thousand hp but it is split in half so there's an upper part and there's a bottom part each half have 500 hp the upper part has 500 hp the bottom has 500 hp so keep that in mind when you're using the shield his ultimate is called castle wall this allows you to leap onto an ally or a targeted area to slam down and create a fortified stronghold the cooldown for this is two minutes now i do remember this being a little bit strong when newcastle was released because of the range he could leap pretty far um but i'm not sure 100 percent let me know in the comments if you remember i just can't remember right now but yes currently it, you can leap up to 35 meters but if you choose to go to a teammate it could extend to about 70 meters at the most once you land on the targeted area or an ally the wall is built in a half u-shaped form made out of nine sections with each section having 700 hp so i think the ultimate is great for blocking people in in room
rooms or tunnels since it is also electrified for about 30 seconds that will stun and deal damage to anyone that gets close to it you could definitely use this to hold off a team since they won't push you until that goes away and give you the advantage to be able to peek you know and be able to fight at the same time great for those situations for sure also just like gibby he also has the hidden passive called fortify which is the ability to reduce incoming damage by 15 percent and not be slowed by bullets so obviously newcastle and gibby are kind of your tank support roles so since he has this four to five ability hidden passive the idea of this class is also to be a support tank role similar to gibby so when you're playing him just make sure to always try to go aim for purple and red shields to become that super tank with a lot of incoming damage let's look at level two upgrades for newcastle option one thick shield mobile shield segments gain 250 hp this perk allows your mobile shield to gain more hp for the top and bottom half so as you know as we mentioned before currently 500 hp is based on the top part and the bottom part but so now with this perk active it would bump it up to 750 each so 750 for the top 750 for the bottom now when i was playing this when newcastle and i was testing this out i will say it did make a, a bit of a difference when it came to the health of the shield it, it, it would last a little bit longer obviously without it being active is it game changing in my opinion i will say it is only helpful for you and your team for sure is it is not game changing obviously um it will give you and your team more protection when fighting it could also possibly hold off you know enough time you know unless a team pushes you and you could probably get a battery off or maybe even full heal it would just depend on those situations for sure but i think it offers more protection while you wait for a team to push up option two swift shield increase mobile shield speed to weapon sprint speed this perk allows your shield to move at sprint speed each time you redirect it into a new location um i think this is great also because this could probably be used aggressively to push a team at running speed so if you want to start running you can push your shield at the same time and you know push them they can't shoot you back as you run you can run in an open space almost and just keep pushing your shield and they can't do anything they'll just have to keep running right um but just make sure to time it at the right time at the right angle as well so <laughs> don't just push it and then over peak and then you get destroyed um i would say this is similar to bubble fighting with gibby you can use your shield to maneuver your enemy around the shield so if you throw your shield you can kind of you can you can weave a little bit to fight with your enemy you know and then but just remember that if you get hurt they will push you no matter what so it is a nice addition for newcastle to have for sure let's look at level three upgrades for newcastle option one miracle worker allies are revived with regen with health regen up to 75 hp this perk allows you to revive your teammates and give them a health regen when they are revived now as a support role similar to mirage this should be the go-to perk when playing this legend but in my opinion this would probably go best if you find a gold knockdown shield since they already give you 50 hp once revived you know so to have this active will give your teammates that chance and heal quicker if they're knocked uh, just remember that the heal regen is not as fast so keep that in mind when you revive as well so, similar to mirage same thing um, the only thing that kind of gives mirage the edge a little bit is that he has that invisibility and that gives you three seconds of invisibility to run away this one i mean i can kind of see it being used for sure if you know if you want um res and you can get someone into a, a, a good space then yeah i could definitely see this being used for sure option two stronghold increase the castle wall hp to two fit up to 250 and extend the energized barrier duration for two minutes so this perk will allow more hp for your castle wall ultimate and extend the electrify wall for two minutes so currently it has 700 hp per section this would increase it to 950 hp per section also the duration of the walls that it can hurt and stun the players is only 30 seconds without this perk this would bump it up to two minutes now this is probably the perk to use if you and your teammates are just trying to bunker down a section this will definitely give you that advantage to hold off a team for at least two minutes i think of course if they destroy the sections then you're out of luck but it will take them a while for that because it has an increased hp so i honestly think this perk is nice to have for end game in my opinion um, if you use it at the right time and the right direction um you know if you place it nicely you could win because it would give you cover as the ring closes behind you while the enemy might just have to run out and they have nowhere to hide unless they want to push you they'll get stunned and hurt and etc etc right so sometimes the ring does end where there is no cover so this would be great for that situation but again like i'm saying it is situational so i just think it's a good addition to have all right so for my final verdict for newcastle and choosing the two perks to use when playing him i would probably go with thick shield and stronghold now the reason i say these two perks is because in my opinion i see them playing a much better role for newcastle than the other two options i just think more health on the shield would give you a much better advantage while fighting you know and also i think that you could you you could be a distraction with this uh maybe while your teammates flank you know you could get over a team if you're fighting right you could be fighting with your shield and your teammates 
can go around and flank you could be a distraction because they're going to try to shoot your shield down try to hurry up and get you now it is risky of course because they could easily push you they see that you're alone they can push you and especially if you get hurt right so now i do think while the speed does sound much better i think that it is that perk is more for aggressive players who have already mastered the tactical skills already uh but if that's the case then i would definitely say go for it go with the speed if that's what your preference is to be more aggressive and push with a shield faster definitely go with that as for level three i say stronghold because having more hp just gives you that bunker type ability to hold off a team especially with the increased duration of the electrified wall um while i do like the health regen as well it will depend on that situation because you know the regen is not as fast enough as i i think it would be helpful for but if you have the go down the gold knockdown shield early then it might be good to go with that but ultimately i think thick shield and stronghold will be a much better option to give you that slight tank roll you know and also remember that the cooldowns for all his abilities are pretty short as well so you will have these abilities quick well there it is everyone and that's that is all the details on newcastle and how each perk can benefit you or not while in game i appreciate everyone that stopped by to check out the video leave a like on the video if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe and check out to check out all uploads shorts and streams i will be continuing to the next legend conduit in the next episode enjoy the rest of your day and remember never stop gaming i'm out peace